So look here, we've seen a massive shift in the market, people, for Locana collecting. Uh, as you can see, it, Ariel has gone into first position for the Enchanted Most Desirable card with 14 listings at $425 market value, where Minnie Mouse was at the first place, and she she was valued at around $400 and something dollars. And now she's at $360, so she's knocked her down herself down to second. So it looks like Aerial Sonic Warrior is the chase card to go for for Enchanted. However, there is still the Ursula Pro Promo Champions Edition card that's out there. Um, you know it's going to be a Champions Edition because it's going to have the little symbol in the bottom. And then it's going to have like um, some kind of like arrow backward slash to the left of that symbol in the middle at the bottom of the card. And that's what you're looking for. But that's crazy, huh? How it, the, the tides have shifted. Uh, and then everyone's going for this card now. So the cheapest you can find it for is $385. And the cheapest you can get a Minnie Mouse for Musketeer Champion is $191. Um, and then we've got Cinderella actually closely behind Minnie Mouse with $359 as a market value. And $295 is the listing for the lowest you can get. Or is it the highest? I don't know. Let's take a look. It's the lowest. $295 is the lowest. With $0.99 cents for shipping. That's crazy how things are changing. Nuts. I would have thought that Ursula would have been high up, more high up, since she is highly collectible. But you can get her for 250 bucks, you know, near mint, with shipping included. So that's a pretty good deal. Um, but you can look at the... Look at... The way we can check is right here. If you guys don't know TCG, go to a month. She was selling for 600 bucks on May 14th, which is obviously a pre-order. Never pre-order your cards. You're going to get ripped off. I'm telling you right now, Z Gamers, you will get ripped off if you pre-order these cards. Do not. Just wait a couple of days, a couple of weeks, and the prices will drop and fluctuate to normal. So yeah, you can see here, 435, 430, now she's at 425. It should drop to 420, 415, 410, 400 flat probably by, you know, middle of this week, most likely. Now if we look at the card that I pulled um, the other day, you can see here that she was current, she was at $800 on May 15th, which, is, which was a pre-order. And I didn't feel good about doing a pre-order for people. Because I, if I didn't pull the card and I promised you a pre-order and I couldn't deliver and I had to refund you the $800, that's kind of really scummy. As well as your $800 for a card, man? It's not even graded. I just, I wouldn't feel good with myself as a seller on TCG Player. So, no. And you can see here, that's normal pricing May 16th, May 17th. But there is a pre-order at May 15th, which is one, two days before release of uh, the local game store uh, boxes or cards or single packs or whatever. But now look at it. May 18th, which is today, 360 bucks. When I pulled the card, it was May 17th, 376. And then May 16th was 466. You can see the price fluctuation. It's crazy, people. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and look at Cinderella. I'm kind of curious about the price fluctuation. Uh, May 15th, she was, she was not pre-ordered. So no one did a pre-order on Cinderella. No one thought that it would be worthy enough to do a pre-order on. So May 15th was just normal pricing, 433. May 16th, 368. Uh, free, May 17th, 364. And May 18th, which is today, 359. The reason that sellers do pre-orders is so it locks you into a high price. It's a very, it's a trap. Don't, don't buy those cards. Skip them. Okay, the, don't be the early bird. The early bird doesn't usually get the worm uh, in terms of pre-orders. Other stuff, yes, most likely. I actually did buy a card myself, people. I bought Look at the Family because I love the artwork on this card. This card is so cool. And I, 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 I forget how much I bought it for, but let's look at the pricing of it. I didn't buy it on May 15th. That was 250 Then it dropped down to 171 That seems normal pricing, 250 May. So that, was, that doesn't seem like a pre-order. May 16th was 171, May 17th 167, and now today 166, so it hasn't dropped. I, I pre-ordered mine on May 16th, so I paid about $10 more, which is fine, it's just $10 more. And the card is coming to me and I'm getting a little bit earlier than everyone else to be able to show people, but, you know, if you look at the history of it being sold near Mint Hollow, someone sold one for $123, that's dirt cheap. Uh, 250, 167, 167. There's not a lot of sales in this card. This is very limited numbers. Look, there's there's only like a couple of pages. 
for this card being offered. 500 bucks, yeah, right, you're not going to get that unless it's graded. For mid-gaming, or mid-gamer gaming, you're not going to, yeah, it has to be graded for that kind of price. To worthy that price, you would have to grade the card to make it uh, valuable, to make it worthy. I'm seeing 167, 146, 125. But yeah, 120 right now. Damn, so I, I, paid, a, I paid a little bit more than I should have. Um... Yeah, I'm, 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 did, I, did I get it for 160 or did I get it for 150 I don't know exactly the amount. I'd have to look through my account, which I probably could. Let me go through TCG Player and take a look. Uh, if you guys are new as well and you've been hanging around this long to the end of the video, uh, subscribe. It's free to do so. It takes you a second. And I do cover um, collecting and investing uh, trading cards. We're talking Locana, TCG, Disney Locana, uh, Pokemon, you name it. Uh, a, ver a variety of of uh of cards actually i'm gonna get myself into final fantasy soon um but did i use paypal yeah 100 i think i paid 144 143 dollars for that card so for this card i paid 143 or 140 i think it was 140 transfer wait, that's a withdrawal i think i paid 140 for this so I don't feel too bad about it. I mean, it could be a lot worse. Yeah, I think I did. I think it says 140 here through PayPal. It's all right. I mean, you know, I still got an okay deal on it. At least it wasn't a pre-order price. That's the main thing. You know, if you pay a little bit more and it's normal price, I don't care. Normal sale price, that's fine. But if you do a pre-order price, which is extortionate, that's when people get ripped off. That's when I have a problem. And that's when I'm like, dude, that's not right. That is, that is not right, what sellers are doing, that's greediness, you know, and I'm not a greedy person, so that's why it does annoy me as a seller and a buyer on TCG Player and eBay as well. Um, but there are certain cards that you should put uh, the prices up on, say if they're extremely limited numbers. This is somewhat limited, but it's not that extreme limited, so that there should definitely be no extortionate price in this one. But if you only see a couple of sales, then you could put your price up a little bit more. I'd say like two, f two to five percent more. You know, if you only see a couple of them available, then you know, okay, I've got a car that's pretty down hard to pull. I should put the price up to justify that. You know, then that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, in pairing, sibling has sold. Sisu, yep. Okay, I've been selling. I've I've sold ten, fifteen cards in the last day. Like, it's been crazy, people. It's been nuts for Lorcana. All right, people. Thank you for showing up. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you. Make sure you like this video, too, please. And uh, see you in the next one. See ya.